Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I intend to set a Kerbal onto the surface of the moon and bring that Kerbal back. We tested a system in the previous episode called Moon 2 and we did that uncrewed but I've made substantial changes because we unlocked new parts, nose cones and real decouplers in particular and I decided I could make it cheapy, cheaper vehicle. Uh, it's about 3,000 funds cheaper so yeah well you know uh, lowest bidder and everything uh, we took off the probe core because we don't need that if we've got crew on I have uh, gotten rid of the monopropellant I've reduced the ablator on the heat shield by 20 units uh, everything else is the same here I, oh, I took off the antenna and just uh, put one solar panel because we won't be needing the antenna we are not going to be transmitting the science back we intend to bring the Kerbal back and uh, everything's the same here. I removed two of the fuel tanks here uh, because we didn't need that much delta V it seemed. It seemed. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. And then we have uh, the rest of the tanks here. I put fins on because we removed some parts. We still have the terry, uh, sorry, the swivel, but now we have uh, these boosters, the thumper. And I tuned the thrust down to 70% so that our surface Thrust weight ratio, this is surface, right? Mm, yes, uh, 1.39. And then on the coupling, at surface it'd be 0.93, but in vacuum it's 0.19. Uh, so we could split the difference. Basically, the boosters last for a minute, and hopefully that would be good enough. And we will abort to orbit if necessary. That will be the preferred abort mode here. Uh, but we've got 3,000 or so there, 1,000 there, and then hopefully enough to do the business here. We'll see. Most of the fuel I took out was down here, so most of the Delta V we've lost is in the launcher. Because, of course, that's the most expensive part. Uh, but I don't know if that's the right way to do it or whether we should have just lightened the payload or not. You know, there's that too. Uh, we could have just put two of these tanks but it is sort of more balanced as far as landing is concerned if we put four. So, yep. We will have to see who is our less experienced Kerbal. It seems like Jeb is less experienced, so I assume I did... Uh, oh, Val did orbit around the moon, whereas Jeb only did a flyby. So I guess it's Jeb's turn. And we will send Jeb. So here we go. Are we going to kill Jeb? As you can see, I put the center of mass and center of lift on here, and you, you can see why we probably would prefer to have the fins. I did set the fuel flow priority on the tanks, and yeah. So, here we go. Untested system, technically. Uh, it seems a little bit bouncy. <laughs> I saw a little bit of a accordion-like thing going on there. That didn't make me feel particularly good. But, alright, throttle up, SAS on, and launch. Okay. So, East Crater is where we want to go because we would like to pick up the... Oh, we don't have the Moonstone contract anyway, so forget that. We don't need to pick up the Moonstone. Okay, gently as it goes. Could probably turn a little bit faster, but let's be careful. Got lots of power here. It's actually pretty stable. I, I always say that and then it starts wobbling though. But no, it's pretty good right now. And off go the boosters. Well, they're not reusable. <laughs> we uh, we have confirmed that much. No, it's straight as an, as an arrow. It's pretty good. The burn for the moon will have to be split in two. The terrier is only going to be able to handle part of it. At least we don't need to worry about comms. That's always the nice thing about having a Kerbal on board. Okay, separation and ignition of the terrier. Well, I sure hope I didn't take too much out of the system. Okay, that's good enough, and we have 400 meters per second left in this stage. And Moon, where are you? There you are. 
Somebody said they would give me the Mimus contract after I go there, but I'm like, I'm not going there until they pay me. Uh, they gave me the Moon contract before I, I got there. I don't see why Minmus should be treated any differently. I want... I want to be paid. I mean... We're not doing any of this pro bono here. A little bit late on the burn, but the moon is a pretty big target. And go. Okay. And we're on the spark. And we will stay with the spark. It's all spark from now. Okay. All right, 30 kilometers seems fine to me. I'm not gonna do the free return trajectory. I have no expectation that we're gonna need that. Let's turn for the solar panel. Then again, we've got no other science. We're just trying to get EVA report and surface sample and crew report. And of course the contract's done. Got a tenuous connection here. But Jeb might actually be in communication with Kerbin on landing. But maybe we should just land on the lit side, even though it's not facing Kerbin. I mean, we can do that now. We've got a Kerbal. And it'd be nicer to land where there's light. Not so nice for viewers on Kerbin, I guess. We have captured... Whoa, 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 don't deviate, don't deviate. Hold it steady, Jeb, come on. Don't get distracted. Okay, that's a pretty tight orbit, but probably not problematic. I don't know, I feel like this crater could do with a visit. Even though the folks at home will not be able to watch. Any special Easter egg around here? Can't see one right now. Oh, we're pointed too far down. There's a lot of nasty places on this. I don't want to land in that crater. Maybe we can land over here. Let's see, I'll point a little bit further south and maybe we can turn. There's a clearer path over here to land in. I don't want to land in one of those mini craters. Okay. Attempting to land. Whoa, whoa. It keeps, uh, Jim keeps drifting on me. I don't like that. When I let go of the joystick, it starts deviating. I don't like that. Oh, we definitely have enough Delta V, so no problems with uh, cutting out what we did on the rocket. Seemed to make the rocket better as far as stability, too. And, okay, don't wiggle. All right, we're down. SA is off, it'll turn off anyway. Okay, crew report. Okay, east far side crater. Keep, EVA. I don't suppose it's flying over. Oh no, it's just a normal. Okay, keep. And uh, maybe we can't get surface samples, I forget. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I don't think we can get the surface sample. Hmm. We probably have to unlock the astronaut complex for that. So, but we can plant a flag. So, is there anything we didn't do? Nope. We don't actually have to bring Jeb back. <laughs> uh, okay, Jeb on the... Uh, at, well, I'll specify at the east far side crater. Hmm. Well, it was a big step down, and I get back up. Question mark. It's a good question. Let's make sure that that happens. All right. Don't knock the pod over or anything. Ooh, ooh. I said don't. Okay. Yeah, he's got enough jetpack power. 
They don't in realism overall, by the way. Uh, well, with a hop, maybe. Okay, so SAS back on. I think we've done all the things that we can do. We certainly fulfilled the contract, so that was job one right there. Alright, backwards flag. Okay, there we go. Alright. When do we get to explore asteroids and prevent them from crashing into Kerbin, huh? That's what our job is supposed to be. But anyway, it's a long road to that. Here we go. I'm not gonna tempt anything by trying to land somewhere else. It's uh, it's possible that we have enough Delta V to do that, but then at this point, I would like to get back home, and then we can reassess based on our new situation, having fulfilled the contracts. Maybe we should. Maybe it'll give us a Minmus contract and allow us to go to Minmus. We'll see. I feel like somehow we have more Delta V this time. <laughs> well, decouplers are good, you know. Radial decouplers are very helpful. Nose cones too. Very helpful things. Okay, we didn't need to go that high. But, alright. Plotting for the return back home. Well, that'll do the trick. We did also dump some mass we didn't need, like the controller mod propellant. And those tanks that we used on Moon 2 were a bit inefficient, I feel. So, and go. Oh, 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 oh. I uh, got distracted. I went too far. Okay, Jeb is going back home. And even though I wasted a bit, we still have plenty. They still don't have Kerbals actually taking electric charge, huh? Just the SAS. The probe cores have a constant electric charge need, but... And also hibernation mode, of course, but the Kerbals don't. I wonder why they made that decision. Okay. Coming back in. All right, time to jettison our service module. We have a good periapsis. Off it goes. Should I use aerodynamics or should I have Jeb hold retrograde? Jeb's been a bit wobbly today. But you know, it's better to have his life in his hands. So, there we are. Doesn't even get to 4 Gs. Pretty mild. What's our overall top G force for the trip? 3.7. Okay, and... Parachute. Jeb has returned from... The surface of the moon. Well, I'm a bit premature, but honestly, if something were to happen right now, that's a total glitch and we'll take steps. <laughs> we will take steps at that point. And splash down. Okay. Recover vessel. We really need to be able to do surface samples, obviously. Then probably with the money that we've got, we can unlock the astronaut complex. Yes. 493,000 seems pretty good. Uh, 34.2 science. We were really, really far away from the KSC and did not get much fun, many funds back from the pod return. Okay, astronaut complex. Oh, that just says EVA. So what's surface sample related to? Oh, it's the R&D building that does surface samples. That's expensive. We'll have to save up for that. Okay, uh, let's take a look at mission control. Aha! Explore Minmus. See? See? There's another Kerbal to rescue. Let's pick the Kerbal rescue up and the Explore Minmus. Moonstone. Um, let's, let's get that Kerbal rescued quickly. Hopefully. 
and then we will work on the moonstone. Uh, we'll uh, grab the moonstone after that. Yeah, to make sure that we get that contract, and then we'll be doing Minmus and Moonstone stuff next time. As far as science is concerned, I'd feel a lot better with the launch clamps, to be honest. Apparently there's also the flag, but auto strutting, that could be a thing. This also has uh, larger decouplers, but not the smaller ones. I sort of want the smaller ones, but we'll research this. The smaller ones... No. I think it's... Miniaturization. Yeah, the smaller stacks. Well, that's a stack separator, but yeah, that's fine. That is one of the smaller ones. We also have this a Goob ED monitor. Deployable. Okay. So we've got that. Let's quickly rescue the Kerbal to round things out. Oh, let's check the tr tracking station to see where the Kerbal is exactly, just to make sure it's a low Kerbin orbit Kerbal, not somewhere else Kerbal. Uh, yep. Typical low Kerbin orbit Kerbal. Uh, we can replace some of the tanks on this ant rescue. I think it's cheaper to use the bigger tanks, right? Yeah. It is. And we'll have fuel priority. And we have this odd configuration for that. Oh, we can't really... Re oh, yeah, we can. Let's get it like that. Not the most awesome configuration for those ant engines. Perhaps with auto strutting now, we can make a happier arrangement. We could technically put the service module on top. We could do something like, it's a little bit nasty, but you know, this is actually a potential way to go and bring those back. Uh, we'd have to worry about it toppling all over the place. Hmm. We don't need four of them, actually. We really only need one. But two will do, too. Do they have a bottom node? I guess they must, so that might be aerodynamically icky. Okay, make sure Jeb is not inside. And again, center mass, center lift stuff. Alright. We need to make sure that the satellite is overhead so that we can maintain communications. We are here. Currently not optimal for the two satellites, so let's wait a bit. Okay. There's Daffles Derelict. Uh, I mean, sorry, uh, Wreckage. That's not what we need. We need Tansies. Maybe we'll wait until that one's over. I think this is good. Let's launch like that. So, throttle up and go. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. It's wobbly. Oh, I forgot to auto strut. I guess I can auto strut now if I wanted to. Yep, it's there. But we don't need to. We'll be fine. Okay, throttle down. And staging. Throttle up. Do we have like a target thing here? No, they haven't figured that one out yet. That's one piece of information the stock HUD does not have yet. I say HUD, I mean UI. So, how close are we gonna get on the initial orbital burn? We'll see. Oh, separation's increasing. Let's see, if I go like that, it's a little bit better. Actually, I should be tilting down according to this. I guess we can. Comms should be fine. We're, we've got that thing right overhead, so no problems. 
Looking pretty good. Let's get rid of that inclination. Okay. I think we'll we'll just keep it there and then take our time. Well, maybe we can do a little bit more. Ah, that's making things worse. All right. Yep. We are not in orbit yet, but we'll be getting into a good situation so that on our next orbit we'll be really close. Uh oh 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 1.8 kilometers. 0.8, 0 0.7. Ah, too far. All right, 0.7 and 13.1 meters per second. There we go. Direct ascent to single burn rendezvous. Okay, but we do have to check that we're going to still have comms during this period as we get closer to it. It looks like that'll be good. You do not want to aim to get closer to your target and then lose comms when you're about to hit it <laughs> or something like that. Pushing the retrograde marker to the negative target marker. Actually, I'm being too spare here. We've got loads of Delta V. Uh, well, I'm going to do the thing where I dispose of the stage so it doesn't stay in orbit. So, uh, orbit retro. So, for a bit, we're going to be going away from the target. And I'm going to have to uh, do everything opposite because we've got the engines pointed in the opposite direction. That's going to be annoying. So, retro. That should dispose of it. All right, separation. And let's point there, ignition. And let's see, target. Now I want to push the prograde, or uh, towards uh, the positive relative velocity indicator to the negative target. Indicate whatever. Uh, the the yellow one, the happy yellow one to the sad pink pink one. Let's call it like that, huh? I do want to use up this fuel on top after all because that'll help our balance. If we keep all that fuel up there, that's only gonna make things worse. Where is my pod now? It uh, randomly zooms out quite a lot sometimes. I should have put that part that lets you dump propellant. We could have used that right now. What? No, oh, is this the butt end or something? It looked like a moon. But it's no moon. Okay, we're close enough. Okay, Tansy. Tansy is a pilot. Good times. Uh, board? All right. I'm going to actually lift our orbit to waste fuel. Making sure, of course that we maintain enough to do the actual deorbit burn. No, that's still more than enough. I'll leave it though. We need to point prograde because again, thrusters are backwards. Okay, well that's where I want the periapsis, but I'm actually going to overdo it a bit and then bring it back up again in order to waste the fuel a bit more. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to do to manage the center of mass by using up this fuel. We've got a little bit left, but I'll leave it. All right. Hopefully that's good enough. We've lessened the ablator on it. We've done a whole bunch of stuff. That might not be the best thing to do. So we're worried about flipping. Hopefully we won't flip. We'll see. Of course, we've seen parts re-enter at really odd angles and still survive. So there's even if everything goes horribly wrong, there's still hope, I guess. 
All right, I'll let the atmosphere do this thing. Eh, let's see how it wobbles, though. Okay, all good. No problems. We could reduce the ablator more, but then it might throw off our balance, so maybe we'll just leave it. Okay, parachute. Tansy seems pleased. And recover. We probably still could have gotten better value from our recovery by being closer to the KSC. Let's see how far off we were. Oh no, we were actually pretty close, so that's not too bad. And Tansy's back at, at level 1. It says we got science, but we didn't actually get science. Uh, it's fooling us. Alright. So, well, uh, that's where we're at. So next time, Minmus. And uh, let's get that Moonstone contract and Moonstone. I, I, I think we've just got a flyby Minmus and return from a flyby Minmus so far. There's going to be another Explore Minmus contract for the landing. So that's just that. That shouldn't take too long. This is going to be a little bit more involved, making sure that we get to that biome properly. One of those biomes properly. But, yep. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.